Hey guys, how's it going? Back again with another SpaceX Starship update. As usual, SpaceX has a lot of work going on. The company has a lot of work to do in order to meet its projected deadlines, more specifically, a 20km test of Mark 1 scheduled for as early as late December 2019 and a Crew Dragon certification by the end of the year. SpaceX Starship Update this week, we were expecting road closures at Boca Chica Beach and a possible move of Mark 1's upper section from the build site to the lawn site with the primary road closure day scheduled for November 7th. Well, as it's quite obvious by now, that didn't happen. Road closures in Boca Chica Beach have now been pushed back to November 12th as a primary move day, with November 13th and 14th set as backup days. So it looks like we'll have to wait a few more days to see the big move take place. In the past few days, both the build side and the launch side of Boca Chica have been busy with activity. There's still a lot of work being done on the upper section. On Wednesday night, November 6th, the first aero cover was installed on Mark 1. On the morning of November 7th, a second aero cover was installed. Landing pad expansion and tent at build side being disassembled. From photos released by Boca Chica Gal, it now appears that there is major expansion going on at the landing pad. The tent at the build site is also being disassembled. We should expect further evolution of the build site and the launch site in the coming weeks as we get ready for the 20km test of Mark 1. Raptor updates, a Raptor a day. On Thursday night, November 7th, we also got some updates from Elon via Twitter on some of the progress going on with SpaceX's Raptor engines. According to Elon, Raptor is evolving rapidly, with SpaceX engine production gearing up to build about a Raptor a day by next year, so 365 engines per year. Most of the Raptors will be 300 ton thrust engines for super heavy, no throttle, no gimbal. According to Elon, deleting throttle allows the engine to achieve max thrust on the max thrust variant. Other variants will have throttle. If you remember, back in June of 2019 during a tweet storm, Elon highlighted some of these stats a bit, stating that SpaceX was planning on a simplifying mod to Raptor for max thrust but no throttling to get to a 250 metric ton level. Back in June, Elon also stated that they were aiming for a Raptor every 12 hours by the end of the year. In his 2019 Starship Update presentation back in September, Elon mentioned that the company was working towards the goal of producing a Raptor a day. With the new set of tweets, it now appears that SpaceX is right on track in terms of Raptor development, even surpassing the 250 metric ton level. Rapid prototyping, iteration, and innovation. Again, SpaceX just really takes things to another level in terms of rapid prototyping. There are multiple examples per day of the company just pushing boundaries and revolutionizing the industry. It's just quite unprecedented. Elon's Q&A at the first annual Air Force Pitch Day. On November 5th, Elon sat down for a Q&A with Lt. Gen. John Thompson for the first annual Air Force Pitch Day held in San Francisco. The theme of the Q&A mainly was centered around culture, innovation, and leadership, the difference between startups in the space industry and traditional large companies, and how space startups can work with larger companies in order to create wide-scale innovation across the industry. Building businesses and launching startups. If you're interested in the business side of things, I highly recommend checking out the video. I'll link it in the description below. The audio is a bit sketchy, but the info is great. In the video, you get a little more insight into how SpaceX is able to rapidly innovate at such a rapid pace. Elon talks about SpaceX and Tesla's experience with outsourcing, the difference between running a small company versus a larger company, rewards and incentives, more specifically rewarding the right behaviors like risk-taking or trying new things, finding great engineers, his approach to marketing and work-life balance, how he stays mentally and physically sharp, and management using the fundamentals of physics or first principles. These were just some of the subjects that were discussed. The holy grail for space. For Starship fans though, things got really interesting towards the end of the Q&A. Towards the end of the discussion, the floor was open for Elon to quote, be Elon. He was questioned about the one thing that he'd most like to share with the audience at the Air Force Pitch Day. He mentioned that when starting a company, it's about what's the important problem you're trying to solve. He mentioned with respect to space, there's only one really fundamental problem, the holy grail as he calls it, and that's having a fully and rapidly reusable orbital rocket. He then went on to give further details about Starship, stating that the marginal cost is 2 million, with the cost of fuel and oxygen being 900,000 per flight. He also mentioned the importance of having full reusability on other rockets, even those made by startups. So just like with aircraft manufacturers, there's not one manufacturer, but many. 
In terms of Starship numbers though, at 2 million per flight and approximately a 100 ton payload capacity, it works out to be around $20 per kilogram or even lower. It's really quite incredible what SpaceX is doing. With launch costs being driven down so drastically and with accelerated launch rates, it creates all sorts of new opportunities for new space companies and even citizen scientists to create new industries and innovate in space. 1,000 starships and Mars Base Alpha by the early 2040s. According to Elon, the economics have to be like that in order to build a self-sustaining city on Mars. When questioned about how many starships SpaceX plans to build, the response? 1,000. 1,000 ships will be needed to create a sustainable Mars city. It will take around 20 years to deliver 1 million tons to Mars Base Alpha. Hopefully enough to make the city sustainable. But I mean, what a time guys, to imagine a thousand starships, or as I've seen it described on the internet, a star fleet, and a sustainable base on Mars, possibly by the early 2040s, is just super exciting. It's just back to Elon's point about being excited about the future. Of course, SpaceX has a lot of work to do before we get to this point. But for now, the company is continually making steps in the right direction, with what seems to be an exponential rate of progress, gradually getting better over time. In the more immediate future though, we could expect Mark 1 testing coming soon, a Starlink launch targeted for Monday, conditions look 80% favorable, and a Crew Dragon test targeted for November 9th.